Fat Man Scoop, Crook Cl Clan. Fat Man Scoop, Crook Cl Clan. Look where we reach again. We in Toronto, and we are gonna meet Fat Man Scoop. Now, this is crazy. This is honestly crazy. Live from the, like, awesome man. This is happening today. Oh shit, it's happening today. Oh damn, all right, so. We're gonna meet Fat Man Scoop today. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be lit. Uh, early mercy. What, what time is it? What time is it? Doors open at 10 p.m. Okay, طيب, معلش. We will get there on time. Inshallah. Fat Man Scoop, see you soon, bro. Fat Man Scoop, we are ready for Fat Man Scoop. We are in the middle of Toronto right now and this is happening tonight. Fat Man Scoop, Crooked Clan, see you there. What's going on everybody? We are on the way to meeting up with Fat Man Scoop. And honestly, it's great. Uh, I've been a long time fan of him and he has finally invited me to Toronto. So I am coming to Toronto to meet up with Fat Man Scoop. It's gonna be amazing and just like every just like my tradition Every time I meet someone awesome. I give them Something that is related to them just like last time I gave Maccabi a kukumba This time I am giving fat man scoop some cinnamon sticks because I know he loves cinnamon sticks And he likes to make his ignorance juice and drink his ignorance juice made of made out of cinnamon tea so, inshallah, Fat Man Scoop is gonna enjoy this gift. And I'm getting pumped. Right now it's 11 p.m. It's late at night for me. This is around the time of my. This is supposed to be my bedtime right now. But we up all night. We're gonna meet up with Fat Man Scoop. And uh, in order not to pass out during the club, we got some Red Bull! Let me get no wings with no Red Bull. I don't get wings without Red Bull. If I don't have Red Bull, I would be having 20-20 minute naps in between. Actually, should I make that part of the song? Say me have no red wings with no Red Bull, no. I will take 20-20 minute nap- Alright, this is kind of off topic, but whatever. Let me have some Red Bull. Cause Red Bull gives me wings, inshallah. And alhamdulillah, every time I go to a club, First of all, I don't go to clubs. The only time I ever go to a club is if I'm DJing or if I'm invited there by one of the hosts, I mean, okay, okay, I, such I, I, as Famous Scoop. I don't go clubbing. I think clubbing is. I think clubbing is a very degenerate thing to do. I don't recommend anyone goes clubbing. I know I'm a DJ. I should I should be encouraging people That's to go to the clubs. That was but a real thing. just like people who go to McDonald's, if I work at McDonald's. I don't want people to buy burgers because I know that burgers is unhealthy and no one should be eating burgers but I work at McDonald's and selling burgers is my job and there are people out there who are going to eat the burgers knowing that it's bad for them so just like me I am a DJ oh my goodness what the hell bro I understand you got a good car but you don't have to make everyone else know anyways so I'm a DJ and I go to clubs and I do some DJing and shit so, Bismillah. So I'm a DJ and I go to clubs, I DJ. I know it's haram. I'm not denying it. I'm not doing an, uh, an act that is necessarily in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I make a rule for myself. Whenever I DJ, I never play the satanic music. I will never play Sam Smith during my set. I will never play Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Shaitan X, or any of these degenerates during my set, or any of Nicki Minaj and all that garbage. I only play Soka because I hold the opinion that music is haram unless it's Soka. In my opinion, Soka, even though it's not the best of things, Soka is still amazing because Soka unites people. Trap, Rap, and Lil Shaitan X does not unite people. 
Soka unites the world. And my goal with music has nothing to do with the lyrics. It has nothing to do with the song itself. I want to unite the world. And just like food, music unites the world. So this is why I DJ. Because I like to bring the vibes. I bring the soca. What kind of podcast is that? They're playing a podcast in the middle of the street. I should put my podcast up there. I play the soca. And people bash up the place with the soca. Bismillah. I'm allowed to say Bismillah because it doesn't have alcohol. There's no joke when I say this. I used to be an alcoholic. I know it's not a good thing to, to share people's sins, but it's not like I'm trying to hide it. It's public. Even on my YouTube channel, you can see me in my old videos. There, there have been videos where I've been drinking. And even in my daily vlog videos, you, you can see me drinking. So, I can't deny it. It's a part of my past. I got rid of that part. I have not had a sip of alcohol in over a year. Probably less than that, because I did once have a sip of alcohol by accident. I did not know it was alcohol. And then I drank the whole thing, because I didn't know it was alcohol until I finished drinking the entire glass. In 500 meters, like turn right onto Brand Street. Bro, they fucking tricked me, bro. Yeah, man. So anyways, what where was what was he saying? Why am I keep I have ADHD. That's another topic. Oh yeah, we're going to We're on our way to go see Fat Man Scoop. What am I talking about ADHD and coffee and drinking alcohol, bro? Bismillah. We're gonna meet Fat Man Scoop, Crook Clan, Fat Man Scoop. What's happening everybody? Fat Man Scoop. Honestly. Fat Man Scoop is the biggest inspiration of my Coffee with Pink podcast. Without Fat Man Scoop, I probably would never even consider Coffee with Pink podcast. It's entirely his idea. I stole his idea and I made it my own. Uh, what else did Fat Man Scoop? Oh yeah, the April Fool's thing. When I when I sung my coronavirus, even that was that was part of Fat Man Scoop. My intro. What's going on, everybody? That was Fat Man Scoop. Uh, everything else is like that as well. So. Uh, That is my entire history with Fat Man Scoop. I met him first time in 2020 during a IG Live. I decided to join one of his IG Lives. It was very funny. It was very cringe also. But I was a kid back then. Look at me now. I'm in my 20s now. I was a teenager when that first happened. Holy Jesus. I was a teenager when coronavirus happened and now I'm an adult. So... This is my life for now. Let's go see Fam Ashku. There's my boy. As soon as I rolled up. Really nice. Fat Masku from the place to be.
currently in the club with Femme School. And Odyssey is survived. It's cool, you know? That's it. I felt like it was going to be something more than just this. This, this is kind of... No offense to Fat Man's people or for the event organizers, but this is kind of boring. No offense. Like, we could spice it up a bit, you know? We could add a little bit more, you know, spice. finished meeting up with Fat Man Scoop and honestly it was pretty cool pretty anticlimactic I expected a much bigger event with much more people and stuff but it was pretty productive after all and now I'm on my way back and I'm gonna sleep and tomorrow's another day tomorrow we got a gig tomorrow at St. Catherine so I'm gonna be there but butcha Inshallah, Soka, Montano, Inshallah, tomorrow.